Hey guys, John here again. Right, I'm having a bit of a dif difficulty doing a video, right? It's doing my my Swede a bit. Um, trying to do a video to show um, Frankie from Frankie's music channel um, some CDs of the band Thunder. And <laughs> I've tried doing this video a few times and every now and again I keep getting loads of glare. So you have to bear with me. If there's a bit of glare, I'm sorry. Um, I've tried moving things around everywhere and it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, so uh, I couldn't even get my drink right. I went to make myself a cup of tea and end up coming back with coffee. I couldn't blame anybody because it was me that did it. So, um, uh, so yes, Thunder. Um, Frankie mentioned that it was hard for him to get all, get all of the stuff. So I thought, well, I'm going to show him my stuff. Um, I do have vinyl, but I'm just going to show the CDs because at the moment um, I'm going back to CD anyway. So uh, I do have the band that the, the guys from Thunder were in before, which was called Terraplane. I do have one of their records from the mid 80s, um, but I'm glad they went off and did uh, this band called Thunder because it's awesome. So there's, um, I'll try and hold the CDs like that. This is their first album, 1990s, Bat Street Symphony. Uh, you've got the awesome songs on here, She's So Fine, Dirty Love, um, Higher Ground, Bat Street Symphony. Love Walked In is their uh, well-known ballad from this album. Um, check out the song uh, Distant Thunder and uh, An Englishman on Holiday is a good song as well. But yeah. Um, there you go, that's uh, Backstreet Symphony, awesome album, and Luke Morley, such a, an amazing guitarist, there was even rumours around 1990 time that he was maybe going to join Whitesnake, but um, he never did, so, um, so there's uh, another one. Next one was the album, or the song on this album that got me into Thunder in 92. I used to have this t-shirt. Um, Thunder, Laughing on Judgment Day. And uh, the song that got me into them was Low Life and High Places. Uh, the other singles I remember off of here were A Better Man, Like a Satellite. Um, Everybody Wants Her which I do have on 12 inch picture disc and obviously low life and high places um, but yeah there's like 14 songs on that album in 92 that was a that was a lot of songs to have on one album so and they're not all short ones either which is a surprise um, then 1995's um, Thunder uh, obviously they lost um, they got rid of, I think they got rid of Snake, that was the bassist, and they replaced him with somebody else uh, who went on in uh, to be on this album, um, Behind Closed Doors, and uh, I didn't really enjoy this, um, the songs that were coming out on here at the time, but I've listened to this album in the last few years again, and I tell you what, when I listen to River of Pain, which was one of the singles, and Castles in the Sand, really great songs, um, so if you're not familiar with this album, go out, it's, it's not, it shouldn't be that expensive, it wasn't, um, I don't think it sold, it definitely wasn't the big hype, the uh, Laughing on Judgment Day, um, sort of catapulted them, that in the first two, first two albums did but this album is uh, really good really really good and um, then they brought out a best of so early on in their career this came out in 95 again um, and they included the song um, Gimme Shelter um, Oh, and the song In A Broken Dream. Gimme Shelter was a B-side song that was um, 
obviously a cover song um, and so was In A Broken Dream but Gimme Shout I remember was being on the B side of I think it was Low Life and High Places single um, correct me if I'm wrong but yeah this is a this is a brilliant best of it's called The Best of Thunder The Finest Hour and a Bit it's called uh, 1995 but so I think that's when they actually um, they did actually that was it and we didn't hear from them for quite a while um, and they came back in 19 I think it was I think that we didn't hear from them for a while but we came, they came back I'm sure it was 1999 time because that's when this one came out and uh, it's called Giving the Game Away and uh, it would be a hard one to spot in the in music shop because Thunder is written very small there you know it's very sort of in the vein of a lot of um, indie bands that were releasing albums um, into the noughties where the uh, you know they just put on a small bit of title and the no massive big like thunder how the other ones were and you know you'd more or less see a cover like that on something like uh, a Manic Street Preachers album or a um, Feeder album or something like that or Embrace um, but not on a Thunder album um, and this one I have listened to it I'm not that familiar with the songs um, that I want it so much but 1999 and that was on Eagle Records and um, then they came out with which is one I only recently picked up at a charity, sh it's a charity shop uh, and it was uh, Gimme Some Thunder and this is a best of again this is a great best of it's uh, really good um, and that one came out in 2000 I don't know if you can see that very well um, this has uh, got 16 songs on it well worth trying to get that that's um, a very very good uh, CD for sure um, then they come back with 2002's um, Shooting at the Sun which is uh, I'm just trying to think if I got I don't think I bought this when it came out I think I got this uh, a few years or so later um, than 2002 but yeah because by by 1995 I'd, I'd stopped listening to Thunder again I just listened to the first two albums and that was it um, so when they brought out these newer albums in the noughties I wasn't so keen to jump on the on the wagon if I should if I could call it that way uh, that um, but yeah I did there's another album that's coming up that I did pick up as the first one of the noughties that I bought and uh, that more or less made me buy the other things I did so um, so the next one that came out, which I haven't picked up, I didn't pick up until probably a couple of years or so ago, uh, was a two CD set of Symphony and Stage by Thunder. And um, this is an album I have not listened to yet. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know, I don't. I don't know why I've not listened to it, but it's got loads of their well-known songs on it. But I will get around to it at some point. Um, and then at that time, again in 2002, um, I think things looked a bit rocky for the band. I can't remember if it was if if anything bad was going to happen and they were going to split up again, but it seemed that. Um, the two main people in the band Luke Morley and Danny Bowles the singer uh, went off and 
did their own solo record more uh what was it bells and morley so more uh what's it called again uh moving swiftly along and um again not your typical uh thunder stuff so and that's the back of it and i've hardly ever listened to this as well but at some point i will stick it on when i need to probably chill out a bit <laughs> um but this was the album that got I, I picked up and i thought oh, i'm gonna listen to that i'm gonna get back into that band thunder and um this was the special edition two cd enhanced and it's called the thrill of it all and uh this was this was brilliant this album um don't wait wait up and love we're dying for um yeah this was a really good record and uh the side the disc two has got loads of um bonus stuff on it which you'll see there this two is all of this this one's the top but yeah um inside And that was from 2004. Uh, oh, great. It all fell over. Right, and then in 2005, the old Thunder Train was starting to move steadily along really well. Um, and they brought out this one, The Magnificent Seventh. And uh, I like the cover on this, the old West. And... Uh, I did listen to this the other day and I was actually getting into it so uh, I'm going to give it another few more listens and uh, again 2005 and this has got um, it's all, this, all the original members except from Snake's not in the band it's uh, Chris Childs on bass guitar but all the other ones Ben Matthews, Harry James, Luke Morley and Danny Bowles are still in the band and um then in 2006 they bought this one robert johnson's tombstone there's a there's old harry james there the drummer with his devil's uh horns on <laughs> dressed up as a devil um but yeah robert johnson's uh tombstone there's the back of it this light is terrible again. I don't know why that's being such a pain in the bum. It's from my phone, I'm sure it is. Uh, so yeah, 2006. That's one of the albums I haven't listened to so much yet. And they brought out this one, which was another best of. Um, three CD it was. This is a brilliant value for money best of. This one here, very, very cool. And, uh, but I'm right in saying that, that picture on the front is from the video, Low Life in High Places with a helicopter going across the top, which was the song obviously that got me into Thunder in 92. This is from 2009, this compilation, or best of. And disc three is live. Uh, disc two has got 17 songs on. And this one has got 15 and it's brilliant absolutely brilliant i paid about five uh four or five pound for that three cd um absolutely brilliant the only album i haven't got of theirs is their new one i think there might be something else i haven't got of theirs but definitely the new album called rip it up i never bought yet i was uh i just wasn't buying cds as much while i've been buying vinyl so um, I'm going to be jumping on the bandwagon and buying that CD uh, because, yes, CDs are far better than vinyl. So I'm sticking with that. And uh, cheers. Keep rocking. Keep listening to whatever it is you're doing. And there you go, Frankie. That's all I can show you at the moment, mate. But uh, yeah, hopefully you find some when you do some uh, searching or whatever and they come your way. But yeah, um, cheers. See you later.